The pharmaceutical manufacturer Pfizer has submitted its vaccine to the FDA for emergency use authorization for the COVID-19 vaccine. And we are hearing other vaccines aren't far behind. Recent results out of the Pfizer, Moderna, and Oxford vaccine trials have been promising. These are really exciting results. Give us great hope. It's the equivalent of a medical home run, maybe a grand slam, who knows, but really impressive from what we've heard so far. Usually, the path of a vaccine from its beginning in a laboratory to a person's arm takes about 10 years to navigate. Now, during this global pandemic, multiple companies, agencies, and organizations are moving mountains to get a safe, effective vaccine out to the public in unprecedented time. We are expediting what we're doing, and we're doing that by a variety of means, such as a rolling review, such as um, we're setting up tiger teams, for example, that will work on the specific issues around manufacturing the clinical data for any application that comes in. We're going to extraordinary and very significant efforts to bring all resources to bear because we realize that people are dying every day. At least three vaccines are nearing the end of their phase three clinical trials with thousands already receiving shots. But before a single shot is given to the public, drug makers and health regulators will endure a complex approval process. The first step will be to review the emergency use authorization by an FDA panel of independent experts called the Vaccines and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee, VERBAPAC. This group is currently scheduled to meet in early December. Their job is to review all the data from the clinical trial to see if it's safe, effective, how the vaccine should be used, and which population the vaccine will be the most effective in. This is an open process, the FDA, with the data that the FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee is going to be seeing is all the data that Pfizer has on these vaccines. And if it's not, if we feel in any way that it's not, then, then we'll ask for it. This advisory committee will spend hours sifting through the data. And while they are in an advisory role, the FDA usually respects their recommendation. A prominent example of a vaccine being pulled after being approved by the Verb Pack was for the rotavirus initially approved in 1999. It was rescinded a few years later after some children experienced severe life-threatening conditions. Once the FDA accepts the recommendation from the Verb Pack, they will then issue an emergency use authorization. The next step will be for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP, to make their determination. This is a committee made up of 15 medical and public health experts who develop recommendations on vaccine use in the U.S. public. They're selected by the Secretary of Health and Human Services. The ACIP is the committee that determines who will be first in line to get the shot. That's the key committee, because that's the committee that looks and says, okay, yeah, I think not only can they distribute it, but here's who they should distribute it to. And they make a recommendation. Much like the FDA considering the Verb Pack's decision, the CDC will consider the ACIP's decision. Once this step is complete, people will start to get the vaccine. This whole process of regulatory review and licensing has taken one to two years in the past, but it's being condensed into months or even weeks for this critical shot in the arm. Health experts predict the first to receive the vaccine will be healthcare workers on the front lines, followed by the elderly and those with underlying health problems. The general public could see this vaccine as early as the spring of 2021, and the FDA remains adamant on its safety. Our promise to all of you is that we will not approve or authorize the vaccine unless the data support it. And we would only want to authorize or approve a vaccine that we would want to give to our families and loved ones. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.